Hello everyone, and welcome to Lancelot's Nerd Corner. I'm Lancelot, and today we're taking a look at one of the most perplexing figures I've ever seen as, in my time as a collector. But then again, I've only been collecting for around two, two and a half years. But then again, we are also in perplexing times. So maybe veteran collectors can relate too. But um, I'm of course talking about the Joker, imposter version. I mean, it's something. It, it's definitely something. This is one of this is one of the figures of all time. I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I know I'm a little late to the party, but look, five days later, it's still kind of ridiculous. The thing is, I really feel like. There isn't that much to talk about that's kind of new, other than the paint app, obviously. Which does look good, I mean, it does look good. The quality of the paint app, not really talking about the design, but I mean the quality, as always with Hot Toys, looks good. But I don't really know what else there is to talk about because, okay, well first of all, Let's talk about which suit from the Dark Knight is this, right? Now, I don't know if I've said it in previous videos, and I think it's kind of a known thing in the community, but it's theorized that Hot Toys grossly overproduced the DX-19 Batman. It was one of those things, it came right around the time, like after the pandemic, well, as I, I think, I, if I recall, as things were starting to loosen up and the effects of the COVID period were starting to hit Hot Toys. And one of those problems was overproduction because lots of people were pre-ordering, but once the invoices came, not a lot of them were paying up anymore. And so Hot Toys had all this inventory, all this stock, they couldn't move it, all of it, but it's already been produced. And I think the DX-19 was one of those figures that was hit particularly badly. And if that's the case, then I can understand why they would resort to something like this. Look, this isn't the first time Hot Toys has done their own rendition of a character. Um, it's not even the first time they've done something like this with the Joker. They did the imposter one with uh, the BVS Batman and Jared Leto Joker. But they've also done like the, um, I forgot what it's called, but basically the red Arkham Knight Batman. That wasn't in the game, but they, it was their own design. So I can understand if, if they overproduced the DX-19 all those years ago. My lights just flickered. I swear to God, if there's a blackout. It's raining. It's been raining all day here. If they overproduce the DX-19, I can kind of understand why they would do something like this. But, I won't be surprised if it doesn't sell. And I guess that's something to mention. This is a Hot Toys exclusive item with a limited quantity of 3,000 units available only in selected markets. So, there's that only 3,000 and you might think uh, there's no way all 3,000 are gonna sell eh, I could definitely see that happening but at the same time you don't want to underestimate the Asian market especially the Chinese market too much right hot toys can move a lot of stock through those markets another reason why I'm wondering if this is just um, a leftover inventory of the DX-19 Batsuit is the Armory, the new Armory Batman is coming out, I think, soon. I don't know. Remember, Hot Toys updated that suit. That's not the same as the DX-19 Batman. Did they use that updated Batsuit from the Armory for this figure? Or is it just leftover DX-19s? I don't know. So I guess we'll just have to see. Um, well, the people who are gonna buy this are gonna see and hopefully 
relay the information because uh, I'm definitely not going to be one of those people. <laughs> I am not getting this. I feel like even if I had, let's say even if I had like $5,000 to spare, I would not get this. <laughs> There's just no reason for me to. Even though I do love Heath Ledger's Joker, I don't really, for me, I don't see the point in collecting a figure that wasn't canonically in the movie. It's the same reason why, even though I'm a huge Arkham Knight fan, and I'm a huge fan of the whole Arkham line, I was not interested at all in the red Arkham Knight Batsuit. So yeah, I have no reason to pick this up. Um, let's talk about the head sculpt too. Because this could very well also be another reused sculpt. Because earlier... Well, no, when was it? Like last year, I think? Uh, yeah, I think it was last year. A few months ago, Hot Toys showed their new artisan Joker, right? The Heath Ledger Joker, rooted hair and everything. And I'm pretty sure, I'm like pretty sure this is just the same sculpt. I don't think, uh, like it wouldn't make sense for them to make a whole brand new one, like newly designed and also like the open mouth. Like I can tell, I can kind of tell this is the same one. Oh, the hair color. I, well, I mean, it's not green, so I don't know if there's... I don't know if Hot Toys has like their own head cannon reason why this one doesn't have green paint in the hair or if it's just like... Look, we didn't even want to bother painting the hair. I mean, I feel like you can see hints of it. You can see like hints of green or that might just be the background. But yeah, I actually now I'm wondering if Hot Toys has their own, like, <laughs> they have their own headcanon, basically, of how this, this version of the Joker exists in the Dark Knight, in the Christopher Nolan uh, trilogy universe. I mean, there is a little bit, like, never mind. I thought there was going to be, like, some sort of blurb about <laughs> an alternate universe, like an Elseworlds thing. Look, this really is just, in my opinion, a bit silly. But again, if they overproduce the DX-19 bodies, they're just the figure in general, I can understand why they would do something like this. I just won't be surprised if it doesn't sell. I don't really have anything else to say. I don't really know what, what else to say. I mean, okay, look, the battle damaged cape is kind of cool. That's it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, look, and also, oh, I guess one more thing. So one of the problems, right, with the DX line from Hot Toys is that it became watered down. DX was supposed to be the, the Hot Toys line that was a, a step above the others, right? It was meant to have different packaging, uh, better quality materials, uh, specifically, you know, popular, super popular fan favorite characters, iconic characters. But over time, the, the quality just kind of decreased with the DX line. The line between a DX figure and a regular release figure was starting to get a little bit too blurred because also the, the quality of standard releases were also going up. And so I thought one of the reasons why Hot Toys created this new artisan line was to kind of bring back that prestige of like having a, a line, a specific line of figures that was a step above the others. But I guess it would be like what? But, but also that kind of cemented the fact that DX just wasn't as prestigious anymore as the standard line. But now I feel like we're running into the same problem. Because this is also Artisan. But also I guess it just could... I, I guess Artisan also just means like rooted hair. But Hot Toys isn't known for their... They don't have a good track record of rooted hair. So I don't know. I feel like that's not good enough of a selling point. And they haven't... They have yet to prove it still, right? Because none of the... Um, Artisan figures, the, the new Artisan figures, the Anakin, the Joker, none of them have released, so we don't know what the final product quality of those Artisan uh, rooted hair sculpts are going to be like, so look, I don't know, I think it's, I don't want to be a doomer Andy, okay? I think it's easy to look at this and be like, Hot Toys is going down the toilet. I don't think they are. 
Okay, I think they just... I really do think it was a problem of overproducing the DX19. I just have a strong feeling. Because I don't... I, I don't... Hot Toys has no reason to do this. Right, it's a weird... It's a weird original creation from them. That nobody asked for. And why else would they reconstruct a whole new you know 3000 pieces worth of of uh dark knight bat suits unless they already had them kind of readily available right that seems like a lot of work especially when they have so many pre-orders up and so many that are late right this this doesn't make sense to me unless they are just trying to deal with over leftover inventory but look i've been yapping long enough I'm not getting this. No way in hell. And I'm certain a lot of people aren't either. But hey, if you are, let me know down in the comments below. And why? What about this is kind of drawing you in? But if also for the others, I just want to know you guys' general thoughts. Again, put them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Hope you have a great day. Oh wait, you can follow me on Instagram at Lancelot's Nerd Corner. And then, after you follow me, then you can have a great day. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye.